Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, so I've decided to do like another uh, tutorial on how I uh, do up my figure eyes model kits and this we have here the Super Saiyan 2 uh, Gohan this is a straight build uh, I've done nothing to it this is how it looks like out of the box again so I hope that this will clear up some of your questions so I'll be showing you here um, the steps that I do for the detailing on this and for this Gohan I'm doing the style similar to what I did for um, Bardock uh, with some blood blood uh, how to say like injuries and dam battle damage and first you have to do the standard um, shading with real touch markers and I've received quite a few questions on these markers and um, if there are any other alternatives um, personally I wouldn't know because I've been using this all this while so I would say that this is the only way to do it if you want to do the the sort of shading that I do this is the one that you have to get not this one um, please do not um, get confused between this um, Gundam marker and this one you must get the real touch marker this one is the one that I use for the little pen strokes um, for the so called manga effect look so what you need okay now is I'm gonna start on the face plate here so I'll be using this and you need to have this cotton buds and also your lighter fluid this is the one that I use um, you can try other lighter fluid or alcohol or maybe even thinner but I'm not too sure about thinner try not to use a very strong thinner I think it might damage the plastic so if you're able to find this kind of lighter fluid this would do so there are two sides of this marker one is a, a small sharp tip and the other one is also sharp tip but is like a bigger brush head so for smaller details on the face like this i'll use the small tip so let's do it just give it uh, random strokes around the little uh, creases around the face where you want the shading to be and like that you're done you just have to let it sit for a few seconds then once it's okay a few seconds then you just rub it off a little bit and kind of like spread the ink over the whole piece and you'll be left with this it's still quite messy there's a lot of excess ink around um, the faceplate so what you need to do is you need to get your lighter fluid dab it on the cotton bud and then you'll be able to remove the excess areas that you want to remove sorry and yeah this is how it turns out and you can compare it with this this one is the one that is clean this is the one that is with the shading and if you don't like how it turns out or like you rub off too much you can go back and continue and add on more ink and then just uh, redo it until you're satisfied in the arms I'll use the thicker brush the thicker head so just go across all the little creases on the plastic you don't have to be very neat as you can easily rub it off with the lighter fluid okay that's about it then 
for the fist. And then let it sit for a few seconds. And then you get your cotton bud again start wiping off you don't have to be too precise with um, the with the cotton bud that you're using you can just like do random wipes all across the part Alright, so I'm done with the left arm. So I can do a short comparison with the other arm. Here are the two arms side by side. This one is the one with the ink. As you can see, the all the um, muscle tones and everything are more pronounced and the one on the left is the clean one it's uh, looking a little bit flat okay now I'll demonstrate on his pants maybe let's just split the parts so it's easier to work on do on the left leg now with the grey real touch marker and I'll be using the larger brush head once again I would like to say that the strokes need not to be very precise you can just do like random strokes as you're gonna spread out the ink later with the cotton bud so there's no need to be um, too much precision in your strokes just fill in all the little creases and gaps Then you just let it sit for a few seconds. Maybe you want to give a blow, light blow in it or against a fan. Now you're going to use your cotton bud again. And just spread out the ink so it's not concentrated too much in one area. seems like the grey is not really um, outstanding on the, the dark purple plastic and the shading effect is not really obvious but once you place it beside the other one you could see there's quite of quite a big difference I'm not sure if it can pick up on the camera but in real life yeah there, there is shading all throughout and if you want to apply more shading you can do so by just going through the process again and make the shading more pronounced so you can see here comparison this this side is the one with the shading and this is the clean one for the pants it's not very obvious on camera I think but in real life I can see it clearly and for the face this is the clean one and this one is the shaded one let me bring it up close again the face the 
arms. Because of the design of the muscles, um, the shading uh, between the creases of the arm turned out very nice. And it also actually kind of darkens the skin tone a little bit. If you think that this uh, plastic is too pale looking for Gohan, then you might want to run through the shading a few more times to um, make Gohan a little bit more tan. I also went ahead and spray painted the hair as I don't like the kind of like slight translucent plastic kind of look and it, uh, the pearly kind of look it looks quite cheap looking I like my hair to be opaque so I use uh, spray paint this is the spray paint that I use I'm not sure if you are able to find this but if you are afraid that you might get the wrong spray paint just make sure to get a hobby spray paint like the brand Tamiya that would be great um, I'm not quite familiar with spray paints but uh, definitely look out for Tamiya um, you shouldn't um, experience any problem with the Tamiya brand so right now I'm gonna do the manga style pen strokes like you see here on this um, Vegeta there's like little strokes all over like that so what you're gonna need is uh, Gundam marker this one and I like to use black for the non uh, flesh parts and brown and I like to use brown for the body parts to match the skin tone a little bit more so you're just gonna do um, little strokes like something like that two strokes or like three, three strokes two to three strokes uh, at one time something like this I'm not sure if the camera is picking the detail up but that's about it um, you need some practice with this to make it look more natural um, it might be a little bit hard for your first time but um, if you don't like how it turns out you can always use um, the lighter fluid and cotton bud to rub it off completely so no worries there, this marker is not permanent once you um, put it on. So it gives like a, a little scuffing kind of look. Um, sort of um, like slightly kind of battle damage look. I like to put like uh, two strokes or three strokes uh, under one side of the eye. I'm not sure why but I think it looks good. So I'm not gonna add too much strokes because I'm gonna add in the battle damage um, bleeding effects later. So I don't want it to look too messy. <clears throat> and for his purple gi, you can be more generous as the black is, isn't really obvious on the purple so even if you do some mistakes, it won't be that obvious. So feel free to add in more if the the pen, if the ink color is not really obvious on some dark color parts like purple. As you can see, I'm I'm also uh, following the the folds of the gi, so. The fold is kind of like a U shape, so I'll try to match the curvature of the folds so it'll look a bit more intentional and natural. So, yeah, that's it. Not sure if it's picking up on camera, but yeah, I'm quite satisfied with it now. There's a little bit of reflection. But I'll show it to you the end result later. So that's about it for the um, manga pen stroke look. So as you can see here, I've done some on the chest. And comparing it with uh, 
fresh part here which is the arm here is not done yet so you can see the difference sometimes it might look quite odd but once you do it all over the body um, somehow it turns out quite nice I actually um, the first time that I tried this is actually on the Super Saiyan uh, Goku that I did and it turned out quite nice so I intend to keep doing this for all my upcoming Dragon Ball figurize kits so now once you're done with the little uh, pen strokes throughout um, the model kit um, what I'm gonna do next is demonstrate to you how I do the um, so-called battle damage blood effects and I'll be using this uh, red marker with a sharp tip and I'm not uh, too sure if there are any other alternatives as long as it's a red color marker with a sharp tip I think it should work but um, this will take some practice to get used to uh, when drawing the, um, the blood as it's uh, quite hard to get the blood to look uh, like it's uh, flowing naturally so it might take some practice but you can uh, use some reference images from um, the anime itself or some manga artwork so you can um, get some inspiration from those images and then I have here uh, an example this is uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan as you can see on his forehead there's some bleeding and some uh, blood from his mouth so I'll just demonstrate on the face so I'll first draw in some uh, red red little small strokes and then I'll go on to draw the blood flowing down something like that I think that looks uh, not bad but if you are unsatisfied you can redo it again by just a simple uh, wipe with your cotton bud and the lighter fluid so it's fine if you make mistakes as you can redo it as many times as you want and then that looks not bad of course it takes some practice to get used to this and you have to be quite confident in your uh, strokes so I'd like to have some more on the side here like so I think that's not bad, I'm quite satisfied, I don't think I'll have to redo this. So yeah, that's all, I'll just demonstrate another time um, for the arm. So there's some scuff over here, you can just do some light uh, little sh strokes and then you can draw it flowing down. And then if you want to make the blood look more interesting uh, you can split the bloodstream a little bit something like that I think that looks not bad I think that looks not bad so some more on the tri tricep area some more on the tricep area here Yep, I think that looks good. Mm, you can do some little uh, light scratches like that with the red ink. Yep, that looks fine as well. So yeah, this is uh, how you do the blood uh, battle damage effects. This is the arm. Is it focusing? Yeah. And then this is the face. So I hope that you can try it out and then tag me in your photos on Instagram. I have my Instagram link below so you can check out my page as well. Tag me when you have tried out my 
techniques 